So at this stage, I've gone ahead and selected the rib cage, stepped down a couple subdivision levels, and we're going to use this to create sort of a um, carapace uh, torso structure. So I'm just pulling this back, pulling this forward. Continuing this line here, bringing some shoulder structure out. Step back up our subdivision levels here and continue shaping this. back to the clip curve. Make sure I'm stepped up to the higher subdivision levels here. And let's clip this front plane right here. turn on transparency here and I'm going to create a hollow by masking out the area that I want to dig out invert the mask and then oops you can see where I've got this this unmasked area now I'm actually gonna paint out just a little bit of this go. Snapping to a side view. You can see that cuts a recess now. If I actually isolate it so we're just looking at this part, you can see how that cuts into a recessed area now. And unfortunately it's it's a little low res. I'm actually going to divide this torso piece up a little bit. Now I will mask out again the area that I want countersunk. There we go. Invert that mask. There we go. Now you can see we get a much nicer recessed area there. And while we're at it, just make sure that poly grouped. Yeah, it did. So we can clear our mask. And let's make the rest of the parts visible. 
and let's turn off transparency and we've still got this backup skull form here we'll turn that off there we go and with the move brush I'm just tugging out some shoulder shapes here do that. I don't like the effect that that had. I'm going to step down a couple subdivision levels here so I can more easily make larger form changes. I'm going to take the clay tubes brush and create a plane right here. Take the planar brush I'm going to go to the brush menu and the depth I'm going to turn the embed down to about six and this allows me to carve out a nice plane here I'm going to undo that. No, not quite happy with that just yet. See, the trick to using these hard surface brushes is to create a soft version of your form first, and then use the hard surface brushes to trim it down into an inorganic or machine shape. Let's bring this back. I'm going to go to the form brushes here, and I'm going to select um, Form Soft. We'll build this shape up using the form soft brush and then we'll polish it down using medium polish and then we'll go to the trim brushes here and we'll select uh, trim dynamic Trim Dynamic helps you create hard surface planes that, or hard surface forms that actually curve. As you can see here, let's turn the intensity down just a little bit. 